Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. You can create general journal entries to record transactions that you don't enter through the other forms and screens in QuickBooks. Actually, you create general journal entries oftentimes when you make the entries directly into the account register within the chart of accounts for different transactions like depreciation expense. And while QuickBooks is a terrific program because it simplifies accounting using the concept of checking registers, you can still create general journal entries if you prefer to work with more traditional credits and debits. Now general journal entries made in QuickBooks must use double entry, and of course that means that the credit and debit amounts must balance for the transaction to be posted. To create a general journal entry, select Company from the menu bar, and then choose Make General Journal Entries. You would enter the date of the entry, and then you can give it an entry number. You can then use the account drop-down to select the first account, and then enter the amount under the credit or debit as needed. And once again, just make sure that you balance the total credit and debit amounts within the entire transaction before you click Save and Close in order to post a balanced transaction. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.